Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. This is the 36th video in this Google Ads course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about how you can connect your Google Analytics 4 with your Google Tag Manager, which is GTM. Well, guys, it is pretty important to understand about Google Analytics 4 and the Google Tag Manager. Because if you are learning Google Ads and you don't know about Google Analytics 4, which, which is GA4 in short, and Google Tag Manager, which is GTM in short, and if you don't know about these tools, then you might find many difficulties to track your Google Ads data. Because there are many metrics that can be measured with these tools. And if you don't use these tools, you will not be able to optimize your Google Google Ads and ultimately you will not become a good Google Ads expert. So in order to understand how you can connect your Google Analytics 4 with your GTM, which means Google Tag Manager, you have to completely watch this video. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, we have opened our browser and in order to connect your GA4 with your GTM, you have to create an account in Google Analytics first. Okay, so write Google Analytics and search. Here is the first link you can see. Click on this, it is getting loaded. So as you can see, the account is already created. If you don't know how to create an account, you just have to sign in and fill all the company details. Once you've done that, you will be landed on this particular page where you will be asked that uh, which type of property you want to add, like web, Android, or iOS. So right now we are going with the web application, which means website, right? So click on this web icon. Once you click on the web icon, it will ask for the website, which means the property you want to add. So this is the website I want to add and the same website I have used to connect my Google Tag Manager. Okay, let's remove this and then remove this as well because already the HTTP is added here. Okay, and stream name, if you want to add, you can add, let's say marketing and keep this uh, toggle on. You don't need to worry about this and create stream. Now, the stream has been created with, and you have to just copy this measurement ID. It is also known as Google Analytics ID. Okay, so just copy this and then go to your tag manager. Now in tag manager, you have to go to that container, which website you have added in your Google Analytics. So that is marketingking.unox.com. Click on this. Now go to tags and in tags icon, you have to uh, click on this new icon, then click here. And now you have to add the feature, which uh, type of property, which means the feature you want to add, which type of feature you are uh, trying to add right now. So if that is universal analytics, then you can use this one, but uh, universal analytics is shutting down as you know. So we have to use GA4 configuration only. Now here, paste your measurement ID as I've told you to copy. Okay. Okay. That's it. You have added your measurement ID and you have selected GA4 configuration. Just hit the save button and then you have to add the trigger as well. If you don't want to add, then uh, save the tag. But if you don't add the trigger, then the purpose of adding Google Analytics will not be fulfilled, right? So add trigger as well. So here are three options on which particular page you want to add the trigger or if you want to choose all pages so that your uh, Google Analytics code can trigger on all the pages of your website, right? So let's say I choose all pages option for now, then hit the save button. Here is the tag name, Google Analytics GA4 configuration, just save it. So as you can see, the tag is added here. Now go to your website, refresh it once and then click on this tag icon and here you will be able to see all the tags. As you can see, the tag has been created, Google Analytics GA4 configuration, which I have named earlier, okay? Now, once it is created, you just have to uh, click on the submit button. Submit here and then hit. Also, if you want to add the version name, then add it. Let me add GA4 Analytics, okay? And then hit submit button. Once it's published, okay, click on this cross icon. And as you can see, version three is live now, you can see here. Now go back to your website, hit refresh, and then click on this tag assistance legacy. And you will be able to see this one, measurement ID, which you have added in your uh, GTM, right? You can cross check as well. Let me go to my Google Analytics. So here is the measurement ID, G, Y, M, 0, K, 6, Z, 6, L, W, 1. Go to your website again, click on this assistant tag, crawl a little bit down. Here is one, G-Y-M-0-K-6-Z-6-L-W-1, right? Which means the tag is has been added in your website and the tag is active right now. So that's how you connect your Google Analytics 4 with your 
Google Tag Manager. I hope you understand the video. I hope you like the video. If you still have any question or query, you can comment down below. I'll try to answer that question. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.